just a little bit of fat. For the past nine years, Jordan Rustad has been in charge of banding birds at the Last Mountain Bird Observatory in Saskatchewan. She nets the birds, checks their fat levels, measures their wings, and bands them with a tracking number. Researchers here have been collecting data since 1989, and in that time, it's shown a dramatic change in migration patterns. 1995 comparing 2015, and the window that yellow warblers migrated, it was a difference of 15 days. And that's basically just because birds time their migration when food sources will be available. So birds have shifted their migration window a little bit, bit earlier in the spring because birds, bugs are emerging a little bit earlier. So the birds need to be there so they can take advantage of that food source. And in the fall, they've kind of extended their window. They don't have to rush through as much because they're not really being uh, chased out by all this cold weather. This year, the new factor was the arrival of the heat dome. The excessive heat, combined with a lack of rain in June and July, forced birds to stick around even longer, stalling their migration. Because of how dry it was all August and because of the inconsistent weather, we had like really big days. Like normally August, we get like 50 birds a day or so, and we were getting over 100 very consistently. Yeah. And in September, like usually we have like a really quiet period, like we catch like 10 birds a day and we didn't get that at all. Like our quietest day was maybe 30 birds. Rustad documents the birds she catches and so do other researchers across Canada and North America. Together, their data shows these migratory changes aren't just a blip, but rather a larger trend over time. North America has lost about quarter of all of its birds within a 50-year period. So that amounts to about 3 billion fewer birds, which is extremely alarming. All the evidence we have is that that's uh, still continuing. The bird populations are not recovering. And there's a, there's a, a pile of factors that are behind that. We, well, climate change, we know, is one of them. Ted Chesky from Nature Canada says while some birds like waterfowl are more adaptable to changing conditions, others that rely on bugs like barn swallows aren't as flexible. For decades, Nature Canada has been warning about the impact of pesticides and habitat loss. But the sudden extreme heat and drought has set off new alarm bells. That can push some species over the brink. I think there's a very, very deep concern amongst the the sort of conservation biologists, the nature conservation community about climate change for that reason, because it threatens uh, to uh, accelerate species collapse. Rustad says you just have to look to the sky to see the signs. Birds are an excellent like indicator of environmental health because they are so sensitive to environmental change. And so if you're seeing large changes in bird populations, you're seeing differences in their timing, you know something's going on underneath them. And that's basically going to be bugs and plants and like other climate related issues. She'll be tracking their movements as all these changes challenge their very existence. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Regina.